be automatically approved. Clear, fair, even-handed and efficient. Well, Sky's Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. My honourable friend is making a fascinating speech. He makes a very powerful case. Does he agree that, as part of reforming the planning system, it's important to consider uh, encouraging developers to build on existing brownfield sites within towns and cities, many of which are very large and could contain a large amount of housing, and many English towns and cities have relatively low density and a lot of brownfield land? I absolutely agree with my honourable friend on that point. I am in no way opposed to increasing density and indeed unlocking the more than one million homes that currently have planning permission on brownfield sites, but this alone does not resolve the issue, Madam Deputy Speaker. We are short, compared to our European neighbours, some 4.3 million homes per capita, so there is more to do than simply increasing density on brownfield land alone, although there is significant potential there, potentially up to 1.5 million additional units.